Hey, what's up everybody? This is Heisenberg, otherwise known as Philo Beto here, uh, bringing a little tank hunter attack plane footage okay. to you. Uh, this is obviously a pretty amateur video. I don't do a lot of these, so I thought this was a good game though and a good use of the attack plane. I'm not amazing at the attack plane. I'm not the best in the world, and this isn't going to be just a, a video showing a bunch of clips, you know, amazing kill clips or anything like that. It's more of a video to show you how anybody can really jump into this plane, no matter what your skill level and use it to really help your team win. And this video shows a lot of good team play, a lot of good communication, and a lot of squad play. And that's really the key to having a lot, a lot more fun at this game and winning at Battlefield 1. So I'm with uh, my, my uh, two, two people in my party are Holographic and Dozer. Holographic does switch over to Assault and helps me uh, in this attack plane oh, kill these crap. tanks. So this tank right here, this is when they first got into it at the beginning of the round. These two same guys, uh, Muff Diving uh, Gator and uh, Kill a Kill, they kept on getting into planes and trying to uh, trying to help their team, but we really held them back with the assault and the, and the attack plane, tank hunter attack plane. Um, again, it's not going to be a whole bunch of amazing kills on this, but you can see how got him. I'm able to, I killed the tank there, but most of the time I'm disabling them and damage, damaging them. That was right there was the, the Muff Diamond Gator was the driver of that tank, and he did a smart thing. He knew his tank was going to die. He jumped out to get on the AA to kill me, but I was able to get away with the help of a holographic on the ground that killed him. But I did get his buddy kill a kill on the tank. So they get back into a tank again. They try to, they try to come back out, and uh, we just pretty much, you'll see, hold them here at Alpha the entire game. And again, it helps the, the yeah, team win. Right so uh, spotting, I wanted to talk about spotting. One of the things I'm doing in the plane and what my teammates are doing on the ground, in addition to good communication and call-outs, is spotting. Sometimes you don't get a shot, but you can still spot the, the tank or the plane so that everybody can see them on the ground. And when the people on the ground are also spotting, it helps me in the plane uh, see where the tanks are. So, that, so it's really important to have help when you're in this plane because it's so hard to use to begin with. Uh, if you don't have any help, it can be very frustrating. And you don't want to try to take a take really a heavy tank on one on one with one of these planes unless it's a really amateur player. You're going to have a hard time taking him out. You'll probably do a lot of damage to him or yeah, some damage to him, but he's going to be able to repair, especially if he has health, before you're able to make this second pass and come back and finish him off. It's going to take two to three of these cannon shots plus two direct bomb drop hits to kill him. So there you can see I got one good hit on him with the cannon and then I think only one of my bombs hit him and it disabled him but it didn't kill him. And he's got the guys and repairing him so it takes several passes time. to finally finish this guy off. So right there I was able to get him. And that's the uh, Muff Diamond Muff Gator guy's buddy got out before I could kill him. Uh, yeah, but you'll see done. those two guys get so frustrated that they come after me in a plane and uh, it just goes to show you how effective you can be in this plane and there's not going to you know there, there's a lot of clips you'll see of these planes taking out other planes which you can use it for and i do sometimes if there's only planes in the sky and there's no tanks on the ground but it's real the intent of this plane really is to help your team with the tanks so there's an infantry kill right there it will kill infantry but it's not as effective as the other attack plane the ground support attack plane because the bombs or the grenades that you drop in that can kill a couple guys easily whereas this one it's, it's going to take a cannon hit plus a bomb drop or two cannon hits to kill one guy uh, so it's not nearly as effective but you can use it to help and the other the other really helpful thing you could do with this plane is to take out structures sniper towers you know the windmills houses anything like that to take away cover and if there's somebody in there you'll usually get a debris kill or just make make it really hard for them to to win Also, uh, one of the key things is just being persistent. You can see, like that was only a 16 damage hit on that plane on that tank. But I'm going to continue on him because I know he's repairing right now. I've got other people sort of working on him, but I'm not going to let him get back into battle. So even if I can just keep him repairing and not let him get back in battle, I'm doing a pretty good job here. See again, I just got some hits for 51. So you know he's hurting. He's almost half health. And he's not going to be attacking or very being very effective for his team right now. And uh, again, that's uh, that's one of the most crucial things you can do with this with this plane. There's the bomb drops, so I, I only hit him there. I think I missed the the tank totally. Aiming can be pretty hard. It takes some practice, but even if you get him nearby, like you see, uh, yeah, I got some hit damage and and uh, helped yeah, help the team at least uh, keep that tank out. 
Here's a good example of uh, infantry. Yeah, of I took out the windmill. Uh, there's still some guys I'm getting call outs from my team that uh, they're still there. So I'm going to go ahead and make another pass. Try to try to hit them again. And there's, there they are spotted. I can tell that they're in there. There we go. Get one hit, two kills, and the third kill with the bombs. There we go. So Dang. that's a that's about as effective as you're going to get uh, with infantry uh, against infantry, I should say, with this plane. Uh, but uh, but you can still you still engage them, still do some do some damage to them. See, here's a good example of help from the ground. I got a, I was able to disable the tank and then an assault finished them off for me. So uh, it makes all the difference in the world to have a have a team on the ground working with you, helping you. And, and maps like this is really where you want to use these tank hunter attack planes. On um, other other maps, uh, Monte Grappa is okay, but there's still a lot of cover on that one. Um, and there's other maps where there's a lot of cover for the tanks. It's hard to see them. This one's pretty open, so you can you can see them and also get a good good hit on them. So there's those two guys, Muff Diving Gator and Killy Killy. You can see <laughs> they were so frustrated that they wanted it. They even hopped on a plane to come get me. And I wanted to mention, you see how I'm flying out of bounds. Don't be afraid to do that. You can fly out of bounds. It's helpful to hide over there as long as you know you need to get back in time. Give yourself some time to get back. You can usually fly out there. Um, sometimes the people chasing you will get scared and they'll turn away a lot sooner than you and that gives you a lot of time to get away and get repaired. Um, but uh, you can see I used it there. I was I hopped on the back seat and I was able to kill them. They, they kept on me but I still killed them and then I was able to turn around while I was out of bounds. So. Any kind of AA gun or anybody else that might be on the ground uh, trying to get me, it's going to be a lot harder if I'm flying out of bounds. So don't be afraid to do that. And here's the uh, the behemoth kill. You can see it takes a couple of passes. I've got a lot of help. You can see the thing's on fire and about dead. But I'm hitting them pretty good. And then uh, that was one swoop. I can come around here, swoop around again, get a good angle on them. Went out front to order the uh, food, I think. And then get that lucky final shot on the behemoth. Oh, I got to kill a kill <laughs> guy again. That poor guy. I'm sure he hates me. He hates my guts. But, uh, that's how you play. That's how you play with one of these. So hopefully, I, I uh, hopefully you like the video. Please like and subscribe if you did. I'm gonna try to make some more. This is the quality on this one. I know isn't uh, to par with some of the professional guys, but hopefully it was helpful to, to somebody. And uh, we're gonna use it for our platoon, pals platoon, PS pals platoon. You can look us up on the PlayStation and uh, join us. We're looking for communicators and people that want to have fun. Thanks.